right, are we ready for today? Hello and welcome. Good morning. Bonsoir, bonne nuit, bonne ra, ra, ra. That's it. That's it. I don't know how to say good day, good morning, good evening, good whatever in other languages. Oh, guten Tag. First of all, I need something to drink. And then we should probably get started. So, today I am going to film a lot. I am doing private readings. I start early. I don't have any shoots because um, I am so blessed that I, you know, that I have you guys uh, booking private readings for me. So, I can soon make this my full-time living. I know that it's not good for my customers out there. I'm sorry. I'm still going to try to be around for shoots. But this is my dream. This is what I want to do. This first reading we are going to do is just going to be a basic daily energy reading. Like what is it that you need to pay attention to? Um, I do feel that things are shifting around us. Things are starting to even out now that all the retrograde drama is over. So in the end of this month things are going to even out again. Things are, bo things are becoming clear. These next two weeks are going to be cray cray for you because things are bubbling up to the surface. The universe is moving things around. You might feel anxiety. You might have this like shift in you that you can feel that you want to do things differently. And I have that. And yesterday I did a reading where I got the Herathon uh, reversed together with two other cars and I can't remember what it was but I got the message that it was something spiritual that that it's something about that I want to do the psychic or the spiritual on a new level and I got the clarification today about that and it really it kind of blew up in my face because I was like ha oh, oh my god yeah I do want to do this psychic, YouTube, intuitive, reading thing stuff. <laughs> stuff, you know, full time. So obviously that's it. And I think that's what I've been thinking about a lot. Like, can I do this? How is I'm, How am I going to do this? Can I make um, enough money? And I got the the anxiety card uh, reversed so it was clear for me that it was like don't worry about it like why do you stress about it Ooh! so for you today we have attraction and self-reflection first of all I do have one thing that just comes to mind that I want to get out with here you have to be careful what you reflect because what you put out you attract so if you do a lot of self-hate, self-destruction, if you see yourself in a bad light, you are going to attract people who are going to make you feel that 10 times over. That is the first thing I just want to get out here. You really need to be careful how you reflect yourself. It's all about vibrating on a higher level so that you can really manifest your twin or a soulmate with a strong energy look while we are talking about it this star today is all about self-reflection what is it that you reflect out to other people what is it that you attract I do feel that it's, a, it's really time to think about what it is that you attract we have the magician so what is it that you are manifesting into your life 
it's time today to realize what it is that you put out. Self-image. If you don't want to manifest those bad guys or bad girls, <laughs> um, then it's time for you to take a look at yourself. And I know that sometimes that's like, oh, it's not my fault. Like, I don't do anything wrong, but sometimes we do. Sometimes we do. All right, let's see. What is the message for today? What is the message for today? <laughs> see what just jumped out, guys. It's always a reason why I show you guys things. Oh my God. At the bottom of the deck, we do have the Fool. We had the Ten of Cups, we have the Knight of Cups, and we do have the Hierophant. I just talked about this guy. Well, something is, uh, I mean, something is really coming with an offer, with a big offer. So it's time for you to really be careful what it is that you attract, because someone is being attracted to you. Someone is coming your way. Might be a water sign. Doesn't have to be. But we do have Ten of Cups and Knight of Cups. I mean, this is really wow. This is true love coming your way. Someone is coming back um, to say hello. You and me is a thing. Now that we have number 44 on the attraction card, it's like your angels or guides are guiding you with love. You might really have experienced a lot of lack in the past. This person who is coming into your life might have put you through a third party situation, but I do feel that it's around a year ago maybe longer for some of you guys but it's someone who's been going through a spiritual awakening but you are being guided with your angels and guides they are trying to put love into you they are trying to show you who you really are be ready for new opportunities now that you have the super moon and the super moon is closest to the earth. It's a full moon. It's it's like the universe is bringing your wish down at the moment. It's like it's being brought down. If you see a beam of light, it's like <laughs> your wish is, you know, being sucked down to you. So, it's really it's really really important for you to understand that your wish is on your way and uh, you need to vibrate on your wishes level so that it's like you know navigation so that the universe knows where to send your wish so you really have to try to avoid being in in balance with yourself this means also be careful what you eat because I know from myself that if I eat junk food or uh, too much sugar I am out of balance my intuition is not working and I'm just sad and moody and um, frustrated and I do feel that if you feel that way you need to be a little bit careful what you eat eat more green eat more fresh food um, I know that it's like oh it's expensive oh it's really hard but it's not it's really not you just have to really Think more about what it is that you eat because food is something that really affects us also with this card and the funny thing is with me lately I have this feeling like I don't want to eat meat as <laughs> I am a meat person I eat meat I love meat uh, really 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 I can't live without meat but lately it's like I don't want it. It's so strange and it's not because I feel that I'm going to be a vegan but it's like the universe is trying to to cleanse out to you know the the cloudiness in my body 
And we all know that if we eat too much meat, it again, it's an imbalance. So I'm not telling you that you are, you know, that you shouldn't eat meat, but be a little bit more careful what it is that you put into your body. Listen to your body. I mean, your body is trying to tell you something with this card. It's time for you to think of connections greater than yourself. It's time to reconnect with your higher self and the universe because again, your wish is being granted. It's coming your way. I mean, look guys, this is not a joke. This is seriously coming your way. In the matter of the next two to three weeks, someone is coming back into your life and you need to be ready for it especially with these two cards if you don't take action now if you vibrate on the wrong <sighs> levels the universe is going to suck the, the dream or the dream suck the wish back up and be like oh maybe she needs a little bit more time so make sure not to delay this also there's a lot of forgiveness in this um we are over being hateful and hurtful whatever happened in the past is the past you both grown from whatever happened you have to realize that you are not the same person before you met this person you actually learned a lot of amazing things. I just saw someone. <laughs> Someone's grandmother is here. I heard my baby girl, you know. Oh. Stop making <laughs> stop making me, <laughs> me cry while I'm doing readings. Okay. Ooh, well. Well, someone's grandmother is really here to give you a push. With the 17, the universe and your angels and guides are really giving you a clap on the shoulders. Maybe even your grandmother is trying to, you know, connect with you and be like, you actually came a long way. Smile. You have nothing to fear. You have nothing to worry about. You might have had someone in your family who passed over who always try to make you smile no matter what and they're still trying to do it they're still trying to connect with you either a rose is a very symbolic thing for you or the name rose it's important for you to turn inward to turn into yourself and find out who you are this is the time where we all awaken. This is the time not to stay behind. It's really time to move forward, especially the next six months is really, really, really important for us. Oh. Someone's grandmother is really giving you hugs right now. Pay attention to how your body feels at the moment. No matter if I recorded this two days ago, it's happening while you see this. You might even smell roses. It's really a loving, caring energy. Remember that it doesn't have to be, you know, a grandmother, but I have the energy of a grandmother. It can be, for a lot of you guys, it can be different, um, different people. It can be an uncle, it can be a brother, it can be a mother, a father, a child. With the full card, you do have the freedom to choose what it is that you want. Underneath, we do have the Nine of Pentacles. So it's also like, if you don't feel that you're ready for love, you can choose to stay single. You can choose to still work on your material things. But I do feel that, I do feel that you are ready. But you might not feel that you're ready. And if you don't feel that you're ready for someone to come back, again, it can also be a new person for some of you guys. But this yells out reunion. But if this is... I lost it. If this is someone that you're not ready to reconnect with, 
you can choose to let your to let that desire go back. I mean, the universe is not going to to delete your desire or delete your wish. It's just going to you know, hold it, put it in the deposit box, <laughs> and wait till you are ready. But for a lot of you guys, I do feel that you are ready. You do want this. You might block yourself a little bit with thinking about the past hurt. There is a need for you to really forgive. This is a new energy. Again, this can be a new person, but it can also be someone from your past. But if when this person comes back, it's a person who is new. They are not like they were last time you saw them. They totally transformed. <sighs> Some of you guys might also go on adventure. They might come with an invitation. Like they are inviting you out. They are inviting you to a little trip maybe. To get like a time out so that you guys can reconnect again. In the past, this person really lacked commitment. And I do feel that it's because they needed to find themselves. Because of finances, because of what they have been in, kids might have been involved, money problems might have been involved, self-conflict might have been involved. I do feel that it's someone who's been going through all levels. It's someone who's been going through a lot. Again, they are a new person when they come your way again. And with the Ten of Cups, this is reunion, this is happiness, this is a brand new relationship. Especially together with the Knight of Cups, this is an offer of love. It's long term, it's playful. It's really someone who's going to come towards you with happiness. You're gonna feel the happiness. I'm pretty sure that you're even on the day, unknowingly, you're going to feel happy. It's like you're going to feel that something is happening it's like when you have the you you can f feel that someone is calling you before they're calling you you will have that kind of energy around you on the day maybe even days before it all depends on what level you are in with yourself how much peace you are in but someone is taking action finally this has been a long journey <sighs> Can we just appreciate what we all have been going through? It's someone warm, someone gentle. Again, it's a new person. It's, it might be someone who's very artistic, very creative. And I do feel that with the Herophone, they are going to share knowledge with you. They are going to share what they have been going through. They are going to share their journey. They are going to speak up and tell you what has been going on um, and again I do feel that it's going to end up with them offering a new start a new relationship I am going to use the romance angel oracle card to see look new love new love is coming your way didn't even touch the cards passion so let's see what is the last message for you guys? I mean, this is really good. And I really, I know because I read all your comments. I know that you guys have been waiting for this for the longest time. And you do deserve it and it is coming. But remember that self-reflection is a very important thing here. Um, healing, you deserve love. This is very important that you get on the level of I deserve love. I deserve this new beginning. I forgive the past. Whatever have happened. Let's see. What is the message? What is the message here? Now that we do have the release your ex, I do feel that they release their ex. And now it's time to get to know each other. 
they released something from the past. If they have been together with someone, they found out that it was unrequited love with the other person. It didn't work out. What is the new message here? This bit, wow. We have love yourself first, which fits perfectly together with this card. This is very important, guys. You need to get to that level. Honeymoon, again, someone is going to come in, take you somewhere. I really do feel someone is going to invite you. Um, and say, let's go on this mini trip or let's, you know, past life relationships. This can't be more clear. This is a very beautiful message for today. I really hope that you guys resonated with this. I do feel that you all do. On some level, remember, this can be a new person, this can be someone from the past. But I do feel for a lot of you guys, it's someone from the past. Please let me know in a comment below if this resonated with you. Remember to like so that this message can get out to more people so that we can spread this magical love message to people who need it. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys later.